Hi, this is Joan Benoit Samuelson, long distance runner and marathoner. Today I'd like to talk to you about running and training while you're on the road traveling. Travel and running aren't always easy, um, especially when you're a creature of your training. And finding a place to stay that makes sense for you as a runner while you're on the road is very important. I always like to find a hotel that affords me the opportunity to run a short distance to either a waterfront or a park or a track. These are three different places where I can really run to my heart's content. Now I may have to run around a park several times or I may have to run around the track several times or I may have to run up and down a waterfront. But wherever I am, I know that I'll find a place to run as long as I've done my homework before checking into the hotel. If I go to a track facility, um, I'll do a slight warm up and what I'll do is I'll utilize all the lanes on the track. So I get to the track and I run lanes one and two at an easy pace, then I run lanes three and four at a harder pace, then I run lanes five and six at an easier pace, then I come back in by running six and five at a harder pace, four and three at an easier pace, and two and one at a harder pace. And if I have time, I may go back out to lanes five and six again and come back in. One thing I want to make sure that I'm doing is alternating the direction in which I'm running. Because as an aging athlete, I get concerned about developing joint issues and I want to make sure my outside leg is not always taking the brunt of the uh, circuits or my inside leg is, is having issues as a result of being the inside leg all the time. So uh, vary the direction of your runs, especially if you're going to do multiple sets on the track. But you can do a fair amount of distance on a track and you can also vary your speeds and do some sort of a track workout on a track wherever that track may be. Um, if I'm on a waterfront, um, I may run at whatever pace I feel like running on that particular day. Sometimes I'll run into other runners. Um, I personally don't like to be passed while I'm running in cities um, and I will try to catch runners who might be up there running ahead of me and if I find that our paces are compatible I may run with that person for a while or not. Um, another place to run is in the park and if you can do circuits on the perimeter of a park that often gives you a decent workout. Uh, but find these places when you're traveling. Oftentimes there'll be other travelers who are runners. You never know who you might meet out there. Runners are usually very friendly people, um, but you need to be on guard somewhat. Um, and uh, it's amazing how many stories um, that runners can share, either because they've run similar races or they know other runners in other regions of the country or the world. But oftentimes when I run into other runners and start a conversation, it's amazing how small the world of runners actually is. So make the best out of your travels. Understand what resources are available to you. If the weather is really bad or you find yourself in an area that's not really a safe place to run, um, you may resort to the treadmill. Most hotels have health clubs and uh, most hotels have either elliptical trainers or treadmills. You can do a workout on those pieces of equipment. Um, but that's my last resort because I really like to get outside when I run. So in summarizing, travel on the road. Uh, make sure you do your research when booking a hotel. Make sure they either have a health club or easy access to a community track or college track or a park or a waterfront. Uh, make sure that you know how long you're going to be in town so that you can vary your workouts and accommodate the workouts that you want to do as you train for the specific marathon you have in mind. And number three, Enjoy meeting new people on the run. Um, there are many inspiring stories out there that can motivate you as a runner. This is Joan Benoit Samuelson. Thanks for listening.